everybody. Today for a side dish, we're gonna do acorn squash with a Grammy's twist. This here is an acorn. They are very hard to cut, grown from our garden, which looks absolutely beautiful. Now we have to get the seeds out of it. So we need that. And you can use brown sugar, but I'm using Swerve right here. It's a sugar replacement to cut down on sugar. And I'm using some butter and some walnuts crushed up, left over the, what I had. And then I'm using some cranberry candied pecans too in it. So I'm going to pan you down and we're gonna get the seeds out. If you hear something that sounds like music, that's pumpkin and she's playing in her pen. And we're gonna put it in the spread pan. And we're putting it in the microwave. Can you believe that? It's quick and it's easy. So let's start with one step and I'm gonna pan you down. There you are right there. You can see everything really well. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. And what you do is you wanna get the seeds out. Just like this. And you want to get any of the other stringy pulp out as well. Just like that. Just get it nice and clean. See, just like that. Okay. And we're going to do this one as well. Just like this. I'm trying to follow, let you follow through all my steps. I find if people see what I'm doing, it will be a lot easier. I've got something new coming up, hopefully beginning of the year, and it may be before the beginning of the year. I'm not sure yet, but it's going to be a surprise. Now I need some water. One thing I did forget to get, but that's okay. You want to put some water in your pan. Seeds are out. My bad for getting the water. I'm gonna put water in just like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with whatever you have for plastic. I like this, stretch tight, but that's me. This is our first step of doing it. Gotta make sure your acorn is clean and washed very well and you want to take everything out from the center and you want it to look like this without a half an inch of water in it whoops I'm sorry it was too far up I was listening to Maggie May what about a half an inch of water in it and I'm gonna put it in the microwave and I'll tell you how many minutes and we'll be back hey okay, folks I just took it out of the microwave and I cooked it for 20 minutes. Now I have a thousand watt microwave, but it depends on what you have for a microwave for wattage. Pumpkin, don't bite me. I mean, Maggie. Sorry, Maggie's biting my ankles down here. Very hot, so I gotta be careful. I don't know if you can see her, but she's over here being a stinker on the floor. I'm gonna push her out of the way because she's biting my ankle all up. Aren't you? There. I don't know if you can see the little stinker. She's right there. You're going to sit and watch and lay now? Okay, so we have it right here. It's wicked, wicked hot. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the walnuts. And I'm just going to put a few there and a few here. This is going to be our side dish. And I'm gonna reheat this up for five minutes when I wanna eat it. And I'm not, I'm gonna show you too. It's gotta be tender. I say always tender with a fork. So you just can stick your fork right in, just like that. Very easy. And you can serve this in a plate or you can scoop it out. Um, where am I? I lost my train of thought thinking about my girl Maggie. And then you wanna take a little brown sugar Let's put a little dab in. A little dab will do you. Just like that. And then you're going to put 
little bit of butter. Who doesn't like butter, huh? Yum. And then we're just gonna put some of this mixture in of cranberries, candy, and pecans that I had. Gotta use what you got, right? Don't wanna be wasting. Use what you got in the house. That's why we prep and put back. So when we wanna make something, we have something. Now Maggie, do you really need to be doing that? And now we're gonna put a little more brown sugar. Maggie, I will hold you after. And again, I'm using Swerve, but you can use just regular sugar. This is a replacement for brown sugar. And we're gonna put a little bit of butter right in. Just like that. Mm, everything's better with butter. Oh, hush, hush. It's almost time for her nap. She's telling me I've had enough, Mom. We go just like this. Now we're going to use it all up. Just like that. This is, tastes really yummy. And then... We're gonna top it off with the walnuts that I had. Again, these were leftover walnuts from something else I had baked. Just like this. How yummy is that? We might as well finish this up as well. And there you have it, right there. How good is that? So what you wanna do, is you want to put clear plastic back over for five minutes when you're ready to eat it. I'm going to let this cool really well and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Make sure you got water. I got a little bit in there so I'm going to add just a little bit more so we'll steam it nice and when you're ready to have these just put them back in the microwave for five minutes and you can top yeah, I'll just top a little right now. Just put a little butter on it so when you're ready, and this will all melt in, it will be yummy. So there you go, right there. You never know what's going to be on my videos. Please share my videos out. Hit that bell if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. Watch some of my videos. I got great videos and eye cards up here, up here, down there, down there. And I got a little go up here, Maniac Grammy, Brenda's my name. So there you go. A side dish for any time or a side dish for Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed this video. You never know what's going to be on my videos. And one more thing. I'll show you Maggie Mae playing. God bless. Have a great day. And there's Maggie Moo down there. She is trying to eat up her leash. So have a great day. Bye now. I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving.